All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So recently, a lot of people on my streams and video comments have been asking me about how many free-to-play Dragonstones us global players can realistically expect to get between now and the five-year anniversary, which is starting in almost exactly four months from now. And of course, I totally understand all the concern that's out there. I totally get why all these questions are coming in because obviously people saw the LR Blue Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue that JP recently received for their five year anniversary last month. And I think most people just wanna know if they're able to save up enough stones over the course of the next four months to give themselves a realistic chance of pulling both of the LRs, right? So what I'm gonna do in today's video is give you guys a very, very rough estimate of approximately how many free stones we should be getting between now and the beginning of July. Granted that you do everything that comes out in between, right? You do all the new event, clear all the new missions, and also log in every day. And uh, without further ado, Let's jump right into, oh, actually, quick disclaimer, emphasis on the estimate and emphasis on the rough part because this is definitely a educated guess. It's not fact and things could definitely work out differently when it comes to actually in game stones, right? So with that out of the way, let's get into it. And the way we're gonna do this is actually by using this post by Reddit user Fish Amorphous from a couple months ago. And what they did is essentially compile all the stones that we got between August of 2018 and August of 2019 for free. And the reason I think they did this was actually to determine how many tickets we would get for the 300 million download celebration, but it also can be very useful for today's purposes. So they essentially added up all the stones. As you can see, there's different logs for each month, August, September, October, November, December, so on and so forth, all the way up until August of 2019. And when he added everything up, it turned out that global for the year between August of 2018 and August of 2019, got 4,254 free Dragonstones from all the missions and logins and all that stuff. And of course, I'm not gonna go into detail for each of the months, but if you guys are curious about the actual breakdown or wanna you know, look into it yourself, I'll leave a link to this post in my description down below, so feel free to check it out. But uh, as you can see, 4,254 free-to-play Dragonstones for a year on global, not too shabby. And if we do some quick math here, we put in 4,254 and divide that by 12 months, that is an average of 354.5, or if you want to round up, 355 free-to-play stones every single month. But I know some people are gonna say that there's an outlier in here, which is the July month, because that was the four year anniversary, right? So let's take that out. So it's 4,254 minus 853, right? That's 3,401, you divide that by 11 months, so taking out the July, and that is still an average of 309 stones for free every single month and i've been saying i've been telling people that you know bandai has just been getting more generous with giving out free stones um over the past like year year and a half and i think this is definitely a testament to that so let's just say that on average you know let's be a little bit conservative instead of 309 let's just say on average it's 300 stones per month that we're getting on global for free if you multiply that by the next four months, which is what we have until the five year anniversary, or at least until the LR banners drop, that's 300, right, times four. I guess I didn't really have to use the calculator for that, but anyways, 300 times four is 1,200 stones. Of course, I do wanna say that it's gonna fluctuate, right? It's average, it's an average of 300 stones per month, but some months are going to be a little bit better. Some months are going to be a little bit worse. If you just go through the history of this log here, 
Um, as you can see, June was only 146 stones, but then May was 310 stones, uh, April was 216 stones, 263 for March, 567 for February. So there's definitely quite a bit of variance, but on average, if it's 300 stones per month, then it looks like we should be able to expect at least a thousand stones before the five year anniversary starts. So if you're able to control yourself and just skip all the banners in between, then you're gonna have a crazy amount of stones to summon for the LR Blue Gogeta and LR Blue Vegito with, right? Now, just to show you guys that they're still keeping this pace with the free stones, we're gonna check out a recent stone log by IDGAF about LRVB on Reddit for the month of February, which is last month on Global. And as you can see, for logins, we got 29, daily logins or daily stones, 29, weekend stones, eight. Uh, we also got a couple of Extreme Z Awakenings, so 30 stones from those, as well as seven, four, and four from missions. Extreme Z area, two stones, and one stone from missions. There's also the max power missions, eight stones, nine stones from the desperate counter attack missions, 50 stones for new legendary Goku event missions, 24 from the future Gohan story event, 2 from missions, it's also 2 from the future Gohan Dokkan event, 20 stones from the LR Vegito Blue, and 10 extra if you got him early, uh, 14 for top grossing, 31 for battlefield, and also 1 extra stone for the legendary Goku event compensation. I don't remember exactly what that was about, but we got that 1 stone, so in total 345 stones in the month of February. So as I said, on average about 300, maybe next month will be a little bit lower, but then the month after that could be a little bit higher. So uh, yeah, I think the theory checks out guys. I think the theory checks out. So a lot of stones, a whole crazy amount of stones on the way. And as far as the major events that we can expect to get most of our stones from, uh, the ones I can think of right now are the World Tournament. We have one starting next week, and that's usually about 50-ish stones per. And I would expect us to get at least a second World Tournament before the five-year anniversary actually starts. So about 100 stones right there from two World Tournaments in between, right? And there's also uh, going to be a couple of Dokkan Battlefields. There should be one per month, right? So let's say four. And also the LR uh, Prime Battle Cell event is also the legendary campaign should also be coming before the five year anniversary. That's another potentially 30 stones. And we also have a new stage of the Infinite Dragon Ball History event that should also be coming out before the five year anniversary. Now during the five year anniversary, JP got two new stages, the Broly stage, as well as the uh, future Trunk Saga stage, but they also, before that, I think in December of last year, got this uh, Goku's family and Vegeta's family stage, right? So we should be getting this as well, and that is, I don't remember how many stones, but from the missions, a good amount of stones as well, maybe like 40 to 50 or something like that. And then there's gonna be a couple of new story events, which should give us, you know, between 10 to 20 Dragon Stones each and also the Extreme Z battles, right, for the EZAs. So we got the Omega Shenron one coming next week. We also have the AGL Super Vegito, the um, Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta, and also the Tech Zamasu Extreme Z battle. So as you can see, there's still a lot of major events that we will be getting between now and the five year anniversary that all give a good amount of stones. And this is just the stuff I can think of off the top of my head. Like I'm sure I'm forgetting things that will give us a lot of stones too. And this is on top of just the regular login bonuses, the uh, you know limited time missions, the daily missions, possibly more Hercules heart pounding gifts and all that other stuff, all right? So I am pretty confident in saying that we should in total be able to get over a thousand free to play stones between now and the five year anniversary. If you just stay on top of things, do all the events, do all the missions, log in every day, don't miss anything. Um, and also of course, don't spend all the stones, right? Now, before we end this video, let's take a quick look at some of the banners that we can expect to come out between now and five year that will tempt us to spend our stones. And the first one we're gonna look at here 
is the Android 13 banner. Now, this is probably not the best example to give because I don't think a lot of people are super hyped for this banner or this unit, but uh, before him, we should actually be getting some kind of Saiyan Day banner. And I think that banner is gonna be really, really hard to skip, all right? I'm expecting something crazy like a new mastered UI Goku since it's been so freaking long since the first UI Goku came out and the only UI Goku actually. It's, it blows my mind that it's been so long since they released such a hype character. But anyways, I'm expecting a new one for Saiyan Day, so I think most people are gonna cave and summon for him. But uh, aside from that, I honestly feel like the rest of the banners, at least the ones that we know about from JP, aren't gonna be too difficult to just completely pass. You know, we got the Android 13 banner, which um, it's okay, but it's really not that exciting, especially because the main character, I don't think, is that hype for people. And after that, we should be getting the Double Rates banner with the AGL Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. And yeah, I'm sure some people are gonna use this banner to chase some LRs, and that's totally fine, but for the most part, it's not a good banner. The featured units, aside from the new LR, are garbage, and this is a pretty easy skip in my opinion as well. And then after that, we have the Dual Dokkan Fest between the Majin Vegeta and the Angel Goku. And uh, they're really cool units. And the tough thing about this one is that they included the LR Super Saiyan Force on the banner. So the Vegeta banner has the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the Goku banner has LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but uh, they're still not nearly as good as the five-year banner. So if you just keep those in mind, um, it should still be skippable like this Dual Dokkan Fest. And the good thing about Dual Dokkan Fest is that usually the celebration that comes with it provides a lot of free stones. So once again, I'm very confident about my 1000 plus free stones um, estimate in this video, all right? So yeah, guys, those are all the banners that we should be getting before the five year anniversary starts. Uh, the four that I showed you here, as well as the Saiyan Day banner. There might be one additional one if there's time. I'm not really sure if there will be. Um, maybe a global first one just to tempt us to spend our stones, right? But uh, for now, this is all I know about. And I feel like for the most part, they are pretty easy skips with the exception of whatever comes for Saiyan Day. And that's it guys, that is the video. And hopefully some of you guys found this video helpful, especially those of you that were uh, really curious about how you should be budgeting your stones in preparation for five year, right? So uh, that's all I gotta say in this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck on saving for the five year anniversary because I definitely know that I'm gonna have a bit of a hard time with Saiyan Day. But to be fair, I make videos, so I'm probably gonna do at least one summoning video for each of them, but even I will be pretty conservative with my stone spending, because I know how much money I'm gonna be spending for the five year anniversary when that happens. So gotta prepare the wallet, prepare the bank account for that, right? So uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much once again for watching. I appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to click on my video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.